Hello students, in this video we will be studying about wavelength division multiplexing. So in the previous two videos we have studied what is multiplexing and the first kind of multiplexing which is frequency division multiplexing. In this video we will be covering about the second kind which is the wavelength division multiplexing. Okay, now in wavelength division multiplexing we are basically aiming to optimally utilize the bandwidth of a fiber optic cable. Okay, so this was the entire concept behind multiplexing that the bandwidth of a link is not utilized completely and that is why we uh, create a composite signal consisting of multiple individual signals which are modulated using a carrier frequency right in case of wavelength division multiplexing we are actually modulating optical signals and expanding or uh, utilizing not expanding utilizing properly the available bandwidth of a fiber optic cable now you must understand that the bandwidth of a fiber optic cable is always greater than the bandwidth that is available for metallic cables okay like uh, uh, the twisted pair or coaxial cables so bandwidth of metallic cables so that is why it is very important and that is why this is a dedicated multiplexing technique for utilizing fiber optic cables and their bandwidth conveniently and correctly okay now in wavelength division multiplexing the entire uh, concept will remain the same but instead of uh, electric signals we will be utilizing optical signals because we have studied that fiber optics will utilize light signals that are transmitted through the cladding and core of the fiber optic cable so optical signals are multiplexed and demultiplexed and the channel is a fiber optic channel whose bandwidth has to be utilized correctly okay now again wavelength division multiplexing is an analog multiplexing technique again because fiber optic channel takes as an input or it transmits optical signals which are analog in nature continuous in nature so uh, this is also like frequency division multiplexing and analog multiplexing technique now one thing you need to remember is that in case of optical signals we will be talking in terms of their wavelength rather in not in the terms of their frequency okay so wavelengths are becoming uh, important here and wavelengths of a uh, optical signal basically defines or uh, individually characterizes that particular signal okay now for wavelength division multiplexing we can use something known as a prism so you must have studied about prism in your school days your later classes of school days so what does a prism basically do a prism can divide the light that is entering into it just like in this case or a prism can also receive different kinds of light signals and combine them into a single one so basically this prism prism one will act as a multiplexer in wavelength division multiplexing and the second prism acts as a demultiplexer so different optical signals coming from different sending devices having different wavelengths are sent through the prism so that we can get a composite optical signal and the optical signal has a wavelength that comprises of the that consists of all these three wavelengths okay and then when the composite signal reaches the receiver it is again sent through a demultiplexing prism this prism basically separates out each of the wavelengths and sends it to the corresponding receiver so here the mux the prism that is acting as a multiplexer will combine multiple light sources into one composite signal and the demultiplexer will separate the composite light signal into their individual uh, uh, free individual optical signals having their original wavelengths okay now one application of wavelength division multiplexing is 
synchronous optical networking which is famously known as sonnet so the details of sonnet we'll be covering in the later uh, videos but for now you can understand that just like frequency division multiplexing was useful in am and fm radios in wavelength division multiplexing the use comes in the case of sonnet devices right another uh, thing that you must know here is that dense wavelength division multiplexing or dwdm is a variation of the original wavelength division multiplexing in which a large number of channels are multiplexed such that the uh, their closeness is very high and the gap between them is very low so dense means high density right more number of things are present in the same space right so multi uh, wavelength dense wavelength division multiplexing multiplexes a large number of channels by spacing them very close to each other okay by spacing them very close to each other so this will further utilize the bandwidth of the optic cable in a better manner okay so this was all about wavelength division multiplexing in the next video we will be covering about time division multiplexing i hope you will have understood this topic please give us your feedback in the comment section if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends till we meet in the next video mind your exam